That defeat to Burnley for me is a new low point for Solskjaer and a massive, massive low point for United, who have fallen from grace in some spectacular fashion in the last seven years. And United this morning are backing Solskjaer. That stance has never changed. He's got the support of the club and the board, but so did Moyes van Gaal Mourinho before they were sacked. So is the writing on the wall for Solskjaer. The first thing I want to say here is that I feel sorry for Solskjaer, a man who has not been backed properly, a man who has started the rebuild of this club and got rid of a lot of players who should not have been here, but they have not been replaced properly because the club have underinvested. And I feel sorry for him. And Rio Ferdinand summed it up on BT Sport last night. But, again, it goes back to the recruitment, which he always keeps doing, is that if you've been doing your recruitment right, you wouldn't have to rely on so many kids. United have hung Solskjaer out to dry, left him with the kids, with an inexperienced team. And Solskjaer is the first man at United since Fergie who actually cares about the club. Moyes didn't, Van Gaal didn't, Mourinho didn't, the Glazers don't, and Woodward doesn't. Solskjaer is the first man who loves United as much as the fans. And that's what makes what we're seeing all the more painful. But it's obvious that he's not a good enough coach for this United team. 13 months in, that's that identity. Were the injuries not there? Would we be seeing it? I'm sure we would in some way, shape or form. But it's still not good enough. He's lost more games and he's won as United's manager. The coaching staff are clearly not doing anywhere near enough and of course, that's a product of the underinvestment. He's not been backed enough. United have started the rebuild with the clearing out, but at the same time, haven't brought the players in. And we've been left with a bare squad, relying on McTominay and Rashford and Williams. Some of our best players, all of our best players this season have been academy products, not Wan-Bissaka or Maguire. And it's... United are an absolute shitstorm. And it's the product of years and years and years of mismanagement from the top level. And we all know that. And you saw Old Trafford last night. They knew it as well. This was Old Trafford at 85 minutes. <laughs> Fans leaving in their droves. And during the game, there was more very vocal anti-Glazers, anti-Woodward chants. United fans are not pointing the finger at Solskjaer. The finger is firmly being pointed at the Glazers and Woodward. And it's their mismanagement over such a long period of time that has forced us into this situation. There is no question about that. But there's more chance of Solskjaer winning the treble this season than there is of the Glazers selling. And that is something that all fans know as well. Which leaves us at a horrendous crossroads where we don't know where to turn and what happens next. But there is one thing I would say, and that is that sacking Solskjaer will not solve United's problems. And you all know that. Sacking Moyes didn't solve them. Sacking Van Gaal didn't solve them. Sacking Mourinho didn't solve them. And the same applies to Solskjaer. However, and I've said this probably from the start, Solskjaer was never the man who was going to take United back up to the top to challenge Liverpool and City. He was the man tasked with starting the rebuild at United with hitting the reset button and getting rid of players that didn't suit United anymore. Lukaku, Sanchez, Fellaini, Darmian, Young, Herrera. A long list of players that have gone out under Solskjaer's reign. And 99% of them I agree with. Probably actually every single one of them I agree with. They're all with United's intentions in mind. And that's what I mean when I say Solskjaer is the first person in charge of this club or at this club that gives a fuck about it. It makes it worse for what we're seeing, but he's not the man who's going to take us back to the top. He's the man who's just making the bed for whoever comes next. And that absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, has to be Mauricio Pochettino. For me, I want United to get Pochettino to put pen to paper immediately, right now, get him secured as United's next manager. Why wait? Might go somewhere else and we miss out on Pochettino and that cannot happen. But my question is, do we bring Pochettino in immediately? It's, the club's an absolute shitstorm right now.
do we really want to drop Pochettino in halfway through the season and see what happens? Or do we wait until the summer and give him a clean slate? There's reasons for yes and no. Reasons for yes, Pochettino comes in. There will be an upturn. We will be heading more towards fourth and fifth than ninth and tenth, which is what we're doing at the moment. We've still got cup competitions. We've still got the Europa League. Pochettino would certainly get more out of these players than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is. On the other hand, there are reasons for waiting until the summer. United are a toxic club at the moment. Why bring Pochettino in now when, if there are any problems between now and the end of the year, and there will be plenty, they're all going to fall at the feet of Pochettino instead of Solskjaer. My opinion, I want to see United get Pochettino to sign that deal this week. Announce it immediately. But bring Pochettino in in the summer. Start planning with him now. But bring him in in the summer. I would rather see Solskjaer finish this season and United finish 6th or 7th and do whatever we do in the Europa League and the cup competitions, which we're probably going to get knocked out of very soon. Then Pochettino come in, United scrap for fourth for the whole season. Some problems still massively exist and question marks go around Pochettino because he wasn't able to immediately get this United team singing and dancing. I'd rather he came in in the summer with a clean slate. And I want Pochettino so much. But I doubt whether United are going to do it because I doubt whether United will ever make the right decision for United. I still think the appointment of Solskjaer was correct. It was wrong to do it before the end of the season. It would have given us more time to see him as a manager. But that's what Woodward does. He jumps the gun and goes, oh, actually, maybe I should have waited. And then with transfers, he waits and waits and waits and doesn't sign anybody. But Pochettino is the right man for United. The big thing about Poch, for me, is that if he follows Solskjaer, there will be continuity between two managers at United for the first time in a long time. Because Poch and Solskjaer share a lot of the same beliefs and values. It's just that Poch is a much better coach. Now, Solskjaer has certainly improved the likes of McTominay, of Rashford, Williams. But as a coach, he's not getting anywhere near the most out of the majority of his players. And Pochettino has a track record of being at a club that underinvests in its squad and has to maximise the players that it has. And he did that so well. Yes, you could come at me and say that Poch hasn't won any trophies. But I don't care about that. Trophies are not United's priority right now. Rebuilding this club properly with a football mind is what is needed at United. And Pochettino is, I think, the man who is perfect for that job. But I would rather see United wait until the summer and stick with Solskjaer and just let this season pan out. I actually think there'd be an upturn towards the end of the season. Even if the deal for Poch was announced, it'll be a goodbye from Solskjaer. Solskjaer cares more about United than he does about himself. That's never changed, but he's just not good enough as a manager. And we all knew it the whole way through, but we hoped it would progressively get better and the injuries have not made it any easier. But Pochettino has to be United's next manager. There is no question about that. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, feel sorry for Solskjaer. I think he's been mistreated by the club in terms of not being backed properly as a manager. And the same can be said about Mourinho, Van Gaal and Moyes. United just don't back their managers properly. And if they do back them, they back them incorrectly with poor decisions. Because Woodward is not a football man and he's dragging this club downwards and every single manager who comes with him gets thrown under the bus while Woodward keeps his job. I like to think that Pochettino comes in if United can just modernise the structure with a semi-sporting director. Just change United. Surely the Glazers realise that the share price hasn't changed in two years. They're billionaires. They want to make money. The only money they're making is the dividends they're taking out. Maybe that's enough for them. Maybe I'm foolish to think that they're going to change anything. And I probably am foolish. But Pochettino should be United's next manager. I would personally 
Rather, it happened in the summer and just let this season pan out and let Poch come in with a clean slate. But let me know where you stand on Solskjaer, on the Glazers, on Woodward, on Pochettino, now or in the summer, or if not Pochettino, somebody else. But we've got to start talking about plans after Solskjaer because by the looks of things, it might happen sooner than we all thought.